Hello, and welcome to Drafty. In today's video, we are going to give you a basic orientation to the layout and functions of Drafty. Ready? Good. Let's begin. What you see here is a blank Drafty file. We have a border, title block, center line, and plaster line. Over here you see our layer controls, architecture, scenery, position, dimensions, units, and border. By clicking the buttons, I can navigate through the different layers. Likewise I can press the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 keys. Holding down shift and clicking on a layer will make the layer invisible. Shift clicking again will restore it. Here are your plate controls. Drafty offers up to 30 plates of drafting. These are your basic drafting tools. Everything you need to draw basic shapes, dimensions, figures, scenic objects, and so on. Use the shift, option, control, or command keys to access more tools. Down here are lighting and video objects, lights, speakers, pipes, etc. Select by tools, import, export, and file handling. Just below the main drafting space you will find all the tools that you need to move and organize your various objects in the drawing. Below that, is a contextual menu which changes depending on the layer or object you have selected. On the border layer we have page size controls, legend orientation, and scale. Various title block styles to choose from, or, select hidden, in case you don't want to see it. Let's stick with dark for now. Reference lines are your center and plaster lines. You can show or hide a reference grid if you like to work with it, and you can set your grid spacing here. We offer imperial and metric measurements and various language options. In defaults we can set the information that gets placed on the title block, change your subscription, unsubscribe, set language preferences, and so on. You can also access that, by clicking your username in the upper right hand corner. If I change this to sound or projections the typical unit is going to change from a light to a text field. Happy drafting!